Hello everyone. Do you think a young athlete can be cool? Many of you would probably say no. After all, children, although capable of working hard and winning competitions, can only compete against people their own age. Compared to adults, their achievements seem insignificant. Well, we can prove you wrong. After all, sometimes age doesn't even matter. Oh shit, long neck, let him let him know it's good. <laughs> let him know it's good, long neck. Oh, Let's get it on. Rudolf Ingram <laughs> Rudolf Ingram is a seven-year-old boy from Florida, and he's already famous, and he's not some blogger kid. Rudolf ran 100 meters in 13.48 seconds. He set the record for his age group in the United States. In addition, the young athlete's record was very close to the results of professional runners at international competitions. He's also won 36 medals, including 20 gold, at two amateur athletic union national championships in the US. Many people believe that Ingram is the Usain Bolt of his generation, and that one day he will outshine the fastest man in the world. By the way, in addition to his athletic accomplishments, the boy is a skilled American football player. Practicing two sports at a time, Ingram succeeds in both. In football, he's also received awards. Let's go. Let's go. Off the field, his father, Rudolf Ingram Sr., coaches the young champion. His dream is to see his son playing on the Florida Gators team. And Ingram Jr. dreams of joining the NFL, and he is ready to play. He also hopes to participate in the Olympic Games. In addition to playing sports, Rudolf is an Instagram celebrity with over 500,000 subscribers. Roman Marcotte Hockey is a pretty rough game, not really suitable for young children, but Roman Marcotte is a real talent, an absolutely unique boy. He is only nine years old, but even at this age, the child skates on ice better than most adult professional hockey players. When Roman's training videos appeared on the internet, they immediately went viral. Although the boy's father, Owen Marcotte, never expected such success, he set up a video blog to show his son's progress, and then bam, the internet magic happened, bringing Roman 59,000 subscribers on Instagram. His followers celebrate the child's talent and his incredible hard work in the comments. People see how passionate he is about hockey, how he works to get even better, and admire the little athlete. Of course, like any other kid, Roman doesn't like classes at school, but he loves to skate. And how is he supposed to care about school when he starts ice skating early in the morning? Five years ago, Owen rented an ice rink in his town to study with his son one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, any parent would like their child to succeed, but few people have any idea how much time and effort you have to invest. Owen put Roman on skates at the age of two, two years old. Some kids don't even know how to talk, let alone skates at that age. Apparently, the young hockey player didn't speak either, but he quickly learned to move on the ice. Beautiful. That's nice. Now Roman skates nine times a week. In addition to individual classes with his father, he plays on the Alaska Oilers team against boys a couple of years older. But the age difference is not a problem for the kid, because he is really the best, and he loves hockey. If not for his love of the sport, it wouldn't have worked out, says Roman's father. Colin Chin Colin Chin is a 10-year-old boy. Many children start playing professional sports at this age or earlier, but Colin started playing when he was only four years old. Today, his skills are mind-blowing because this child even thinks like a professional adult athlete.
The parents don't want to turn their child's talent into a job, depriving him of his childhood. Colin is in basketball just because he likes it so much. The young athlete is agile, fast, and inspires many other children. With his example, Colin shows that anything is possible by training hard. The boy himself does not compare his abilities to those of adult athletes. Instead, he tries to be the best version of himself. Chase Carrera Chase Carrera is a 10-year-old from Linfield, Massachusetts, who dreams of becoming the next Lionel Messi. Most young athletes train three or four days a week after school, but Chase is different. He gets up every day at 6 a.m. to train before school, then he trains after school. On weekends, he competes in various games or tournaments. Of course, such a tight schedule can exhaust even professional athletes, not to mention a 10-year-old, but Chase doesn't care about those things, because all he wants to do is play soccer. On the field, Carrera strives to improve his technique, built on the styles of three famous players. His models are Lionel Messi, Paul Pogba, and Paolo Dybala. But the one who motivates the boy the most is Messi. Chase says the Argentine footballer is not only a great player, but also a person who likes what he does. The boy dreams of surpassing Leo someday. And judging by what this young athlete's skills are, he has every chance of succeeding. The Zavala Brothers most families with athletic children typically have only one child who achieves a great deal. For some reason, one of the children is brilliant and the rest remain in their shadow. In the Zavala family, though, everything is different. Two brothers, Ronnie the oldest and Joe the youngest, are professionally dedicated to performing incredible scooter stunts. It's hard to believe, but every day the brothers get up at 4 a.m. for practice. The boy's father says they're similar in many ways, especially in their determination to win. Of course, like any child, they wanted to eat ice cream and fast food, but they have had to give it all up for sport. It's a shame, but otherwise kids couldn't achieve their full potential. The Zavala brothers train eight hours a day, honing their skills. They only have two days off a week. Imagine this crazy pace. As it often happens, the boy's coach is their father, who always helps them in difficult situations. And according to Ronnie, believes more in his children than they do themselves. Despite the six years difference, sometimes siblings act and behave like real twins and constantly compete with each other. By the way, this allows the Zavala brothers to win really significant prizes because few of their rivals can boast as good a motivation as an older or younger brother who is also also your rival. Brooklyn Sittner Brooklyn was born on February the 14th, 2007 in Montana. She is now 12 years old, but she was famous long before. At the age of nine, Brooklyn, also known as Queen Beezy, broke the record by lifting a bar that weighed more than 24 kilograms. Great result. By the way, before she started muscle training, she practiced gymnastics for a while. But her interests suddenly changed, and Brooklyn seems to have made the right choice, because she's already set some new records. She trains eight hours a day, showing impressive results, such as lifting a bar that weighs twice her weight. Let's go. But what is Brooklyn's goal? Well, as the athlete herself says, she's preparing for the CrossFit Games, even though she needs to be at least 14 years old to compete. For now, Queen Beezy has participated in children's tournaments, displaying her skills, but she doesn't lift more than 50 kilograms. It's worth admitting that the girl has a big advantage over her rivals. She trains at home where she can do what she wants. Parents don't force Brooklyn to train. However, the videos of her trainings and competitions have alarmed many internet users. They wonder if it's okay for such a young girl to expose her body to such challenges. But the girl's 57,000 Instagram subscribers are a sign that other people approve of what Brooklyn does and see her as an inspiration. Joey Erase Joey, 12, is considered one of the best young baseball players of our time. Go. 
He's won the USA Baseball Futures competition three times and currently plays for the New Jersey Select Baseball Club. Wait, you don't find that cool enough? Or what if we tell you that Joey's been featured on the cover of Time Magazine, one of the most prestigious magazines in the world? Not every adult athlete can brag about something like that. The guy really works very hard and does everything he can to become the best of the best. He even has a private coach who gets paid $100 an hour because Joey has many sporting talents that need to be unveiled. The young baseball player says he fell in love with the sport when he was two years old. Back then, he had toy bats and a ball, which the kid loved to play with. At the age of five, the boy began playing baseball with his father and eventually became passionate about the sport. Despite his age, Joey always trains hard and doesn't stop. He even has his own secret to success, which he wants to share with his fans. It's very simple. Don't compare yourself to others. Be yourself. You can borrow someone else's techniques, take advantage of someone else's advice, but on the field, don't think of any athlete. If you concentrate on the ball and its movements, you'll do just fine. Dustin Duhamel of course, guns are not toys, especially when it comes to children, but some kids take it more seriously than adults, and they really know how to handle a gun. Dustin Duhamel, an 11-year-old shooter who can confront any professional, is one such talented child. He has already won many tournaments and more prizes than many adult shooters. Impact. 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 Unfortunately, despite his awesomeness, there isn't much information about Dustin, except that he really loves his hobby and devotes all his free time to shooting.